Hello, and welcome back to Dirty Boots Capital. Today, I just want to quickly share with you two charts uh, that I think you're going to find uh, very useful. And one of the things I wanted to share was uh, really just looking at these charts to see if they are a predictor, whether we're going to head into a recession or not. You hear a lot today about inflation, and obviously, we're all paying more at the grocery store. The uh, lumber yard or paying more for that new car. And that that's all, uh, you know, uh, something none of us want to be doing, obviously paying more for goods and services. But what does this show in terms of uh, the inflation that we're seeing? What does this show for the future potential for a recession? Right. So I think that's a, a greater concern or, or at least equal to uh, the inflation that we're seeing today. So uh, let me see if I can share these couple of charts. First one I want to share. This is a chart of the um, the CPI, the measure of inflation. Uh, this chart comes from the St. Louis Fed. So I'm not making this information up. You guys are probably very familiar with these types of charts. Here we see at the end of 2021, we ended up at a 7% inflation number. We're probably all familiar with that. But I wanted to take a look at history and see at what point in time that there were recessions, what was the inflation rate at that point? So I'm going to bring up my handy dandy ruler here, and I'm going to come up to 5% inflation because that's, I'm going to mark it there at 5% inflation because that's a very telling uh, number in terms of when we go into recession. So here we are at the end of 2021, you see where we are relative to 5% um, inflation, we're at seven. Actually, the number just came out yesterday. The new print on inflation is actually 7.5. So it keeps going higher. Uh, but taking a look at uh, back in time, here we see this was a period of time of the 2008 GFC, global financial crisis. And so here, we have inflation at 5%, right? And I'm not saying 5% inflation is the reason that we entered into the global financial crisis and the 2008 uh, recession, but it is telling to see that at 5% inflation, we also had a uh, recession. So going back in time, here we can see in the chart that uh, early 2000, we didn't quite hit the 5% inflation mark, but we did have a recession slightly thereafter. Continuing back in time, we see here in the early 1990s, inflation got up to about 6%. And what happened? Well, we had a period of recession, right? And so as we keep going back in time, uh, the period of uh, the, the early 1980s, right, we see that we had a huge spike in inflation, much greater than 5%. And what happened? The early 80s was nothing but a recessionary period in our history. And as we keep going back, we see the same thing in the mid-1970s. Inflation spiked and we had a recession. And then again in the early 70s. So again, it's not a guarantee, but is a, a thing I like to look at in terms of historically, where have we been and where might we be going into the future here? So that's one chart that I, I want to share with you. Let me see if I can share this other one. Let's see, okay. So this second chart here is a chart that compares the two-year treasury yield against the 10-year treasury yield, right? So you might hear about uh, the yield curve inverting, and that's nothing more than the yield delta between the 10-year minus the two-year yield. Anytime you get to the point in history where your 10-year yield is close to at or below your two-year yield, that signifies a potential for a future recession. So let's take a look at this chart. This is a delta chart by the St. Louis Fed of the comparison of the two-year yield versus the 10-year yield, right? So it's just a, the delta. So here we have a point in time here, February 2022, where the delta between those two treasury rates is 0.42, okay? So we're trending. You can see here we're trending towards zero, which is this 
uh, black line, right? So um, anytime you get below zero is when the yield curve inverts and it signifies a potential for a recession. So let's take a look. Anytime below zero, let's see what happens. Well, here's a point in time where we actually touched a line um, and what happened? Well, slightly thereafter, you can see this gray bar where that signifies a uh, period of time where we had a recession, okay? So continuing back in time, where else do we see going below the line? Well, here we are between November 2005 and let's call it May of 2007, where we were below that line with an inverted yield curve, right? Well, what happened thereafter? Well, the GFC, global financial crisis, happened, right? So let's keep going back in time. Here we are below the zero uh, percent mark, again, signifying the yield curve has inverted. And here we go. We have uh, another gray bar signifying a recession, right? And as we keep going back, we see it happening again here in the late 80s, where we um, were below the 0% mark, the yield curve inverted, and that predicted uh, we were going to have a recession, which we did, right? So uh, I'm, I'm not saying that we're going to have a recession tomorrow or next month or even in the next year, but um, between these two charts... Looking at history, uh, we can see that it's something that we probably shouldn't, should not ignore, right? We need to uh, understand, watch for, and prepare for, right? So I hope these two charts helped us understand why looking at inflation is more than just how much we're paying uh, more at the grocery store or at the lumber yard or for that new car. It goes beyond that and uh, could potentially signify a, a recession is on our doorstep. So I hope these helped. If this video helped you uh, understand those concepts, please uh, give me a like below and subscribe to the channel. We will be posting more educational type videos like this. Thank you.